Okay, so per last time we cleaned this room, it's going to be a little embarrassing because I haven't cleaned it since the last time I cleaned it with you guys. Because life has been hard and life has been stressful. Um, but we're here, we're doing it now. So I'm going to show you the complete before. And then once I get the dog kennels and things moved, I guess I should tell you. We're cleaning what is supposed to be my dining room, but we have... <coughs> Let the dogs take over. It's their room. So, that's what we're doing. Okay. I'm gonna sh I'll show you it right now, and then when I once I get the dog kennels and stuff moved out, then I'll show you, like, the real nitty-gritty. But here we go. Okay. So, this is currently the dog's room. It doesn't look as bad as it is because you guys can't see like all this hair that needs to be vacuumed up um, and you'll notice these two don't have the plastic things in the bottom because Achilles this is Achilles our um, I'll try to get pictures and pop them up here he is what we believe is a Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix. He gets bad anxiety and before they were in here, like they had their own room, when we would like go to work and stuff or to the store, we would shut the kennels and lock them in there. And he tore his up. Cypress, our Great Dane Great Pyrenees, she literally tried to eat hers. And I'm just now noticing that this one is broken, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was broken last time, and I don't remember. I don't really know what happened there. So, um, their doors stay open 24-7 because we usually have a gate with a door that goes across here. Um, they're not in here 24-7 right now. They're outside. That's where they spend most of their time when it's nice out. Um... But yeah, and then this table, so this is Cypress's bed, our Great Dane Great Pyrenees. Um, it's not in her kennel because she's chewed it up, so I either need to sew it up or just throw it out and find one that's like impossible for her to chew. Then this is another one of their do the dog's beds that they have chewed up because they hate being comfortable, I guess. <coughs> um... Achilles does have a pillow in there because he's the only one who doesn't chew them up. But if I put a bed in there, the other dogs will pull it out and chew it up. So we just have him a little pillow. I don't know. Don't ask it. Because I can't tell you, honestly. Um, but yeah, so these are probably just going to go in the trash until I can find some. We've tried, we've tried the beds that are supposedly chew-proof. They don't work. My dogs chew them up. Um, so I need to, you know, well... I'm going to find some more and try, and at some point you just got to give up, and they just don't get beds. You know, you can't can't keep buying a bed every two weeks. They're expensive. Like, this one was, like, 40 bucks, and it's garbage now, you know? I think over the last three years, we've probably thrown away $700 worth of beds. Pretty ridiculous. Um, But, anyways... I'm going to set you up on the tripod, but you watch me pull the kennels and the chairs out. I'm not going to move the table out. I'm just going to pull it back and forth because it's hard to get through this door on my own. So I'm going to get the tripod and get y'all set up, and then we'll get started. Great, on that beat, going crazy.
Okay. Before I move this plastic that we put down to protect our carpet, but now it just seems like a dumb idea because they have free reign, but this is what it looks like without the kennels. See all that? All the hair, disgusting. This is a little embarrassing, but as I like to say, we're the real deal here. We tell the truth and we're honest and we pass zero judgment upon one another. So I just wanted to show you guys that before I move this plastic out of here. Break on that beat, going crazy. Okay, I'm going to show you over here. Now you can see where the plastic was. That shows you how dirty and filled with hair my carpet is. You can actually see how nasty it is in here. Okay, now I'm going to, you know, dust. And while y'all are watching me dust in here, I want you guys to leave guesses for two separate things down in the comments below. I want you to guess first... How many times, look, I haven't even started dusting and look how dirty my fingers. First, I want you to guess how many times you think my vacuum's gonna get clogged up and how many times we're gonna have to unclog it with all this dog here. Two, I want you to guess how many times you think I'm gonna have to empty my canister on my vacuum while we're doing this. Okay, and then I'm also gonna put it all in a separate trash bag by itself so we can just see how much crap I get up off this carpet. I'll be right back. Okay, oh, sorry about that. My husband called, so I had to talk to him. He was on a little break at work. So, like I said, I'm going to dust while I'm dusting. Y'all leave your bets, your, not your bets, your guesses down below on how many times my vacuum is going to get clogged and how many times we have to empty the canister, okay? All right, I'm going to get you on the tripod, and then we're going to start dusting. Break on that beat, going crazy.
rage on that beat going crazy. Rage on that beat going crazy.
spray, drone that beat, going crazy. Know if this powder like actually does anything to make your living or, or your carpet cleaner but I do know that it makes it smell nice you guys this is a 13 gallon trash bag I just want to show you this is the amount of dog hair we just vacuumed up no if my calculations, and I'm remembering correctly, <coughs> my vacuum did not get clogged one time, but we did have to empty the thing five times so far. Now, we'll see what happens when we go to vacuum up this powder. I do know that this powder is going to make it smell better in here. Now, if it's actually going to help clean the carpets better, I don't know. But I'm going to let that set. Yes, I used a whole box. You want to know why? Because it's dirty in here and it stinks because there's dogs in here. So I put the whole box on the floor. I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and then we're going to come back and vacuum it up. All right. See you in a bit. Rage on that beat going crazy.
Rage on that beat, going crazy. calculations are correct we emptied the thing six times and it clogged up zero and I would say if a vacuum can vacuum up this much dockage should we weigh it let's go weigh it let's go weigh it on my food scale okay let me switch all up here that wasn't supposed to happen. Good thing that didn't break nothing. Let's bring that back up a little. Get my food scale. Turn around. Oops, nope. Turn around this way. Touch you this way. Oh, get you closer here so you can see. Okay, we don't want fluid ounces. We want pounds and ounces. And we're gonna put it in a bowl. Y'all can't see. Y'all still can't see. Let me just take y'all off of here. Okay, we're gonna zero this out. Okay, it's at zero. I'm gonna stick this in here. Two pounds, 2.3 ounces. Now, I don't know about y'all, but a vacuum, vacuuming up two pounds of dog hair without getting clogged is just a testament to how good that vacuum is. So if you're in the market for a new vacuum i'll have linked down below the video i put up where i got that vacuum and tested it i think i tested it and it'll have the name and all that and i'll try to find it like on amazon or something and link it down below because listen if y'all have animals y'all have kids and y'all are in the market for a new vacuum that's a good one but anyways the dog room is now complete so i have already filmed edited and uploaded a video cleaned my kitchen Put dinner in the crock pot, and now I've just cleaned that dog room. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to relax for a little bit. So, that's it for today. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. My hair's a little bit disheveled. I'm dusty. I need to wash my hair. I really need to shower. Not hair. I meant to say hands. I really need to shower, but we'll get there later. I'm not, I need to sit down. All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.